Hello, I am Sutik Shukla. Government takes big steps to promote drones in agriculture. Government offers 100% subsidy for purchase of drones. To promote the use of drones, the government offer a 100% grant up to the cost of 10 lakh rupees to Agriculture Institute for purchase of drones for farming and its call activities. In addition, the government has also provided a grant of 75% of the cost of drone to the farmers producers organizations for displaying on the farmers field. According to a senior officer of the Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Ministry, subsidy and grant for purchase of drones are the government has issued revised guidelines to make drone technology. Drone technology inexpensive to the stakeholders of the sector. In its guidelines on submission on agricultural mechanization, it has envisaged 100% grant of 10 rupees lakh, whichever is less to the farm machinery training and testing institutes, ICR Institute, Krishi Vigyan Kendra, and State Agriculture Universities. A contingency outlay of 6,000 rupees hectare will be also given to the implementing agencies for hiring drones from custom hiring centers for display. The contingent expenditure to implementing agencies who buy drones for drone demonstration will be given at 3,000 rupees hectare. At first, financial assistance and grants will be available till 31st March 2023 and then it would be reviewed again. The government said the existing custom hiring centre that has been established by the Cooperative Society of Farmers FEOs, will also be given a grant of 40% of the basic cost of the drone and its attachment up to rupees 4 lakh. The ministry informed. But if a CHC has been set up by agriculture graduates, the subsidy will increase to 50% of the basic cost of drones up to 5 lakh rupees. The ministry said the subsidized purchase of agri-drones for CHC high-tech hubs will make the technology inexpensive, resulting in their whisper adoption. This will make drones more accessible to the common man in the country and will significantly encourage domestic drone production. The Ministry of Civil Aviation along with the Director General of Civil Aviation are in the process of allowing drone operation through a conditional exemption route. Moreover, the Agri-Ministry has also come up with the standard operating procedures for the use of drone application and pesticides for crop protection in agriculture, forestry and non-crop areas. For more such type of videos, stay connected with Krishi Jagan. Thank you.